Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Melly In today's video, I'm actually going to be doing like a gift guide for Christmas since it's right around the corner. I separated this into two videos only because one of them I wanted to be like stocking stuffers for your loved ones versus like bigger crochet items um, that you would give a loved one depending on your budget. So I wanted to make it budget friendly for both. This will be like the least expensive items that you can put like in a little stocking stuffer. So um, that's probably what I'm going to name it. Um, so you guys probably already know that. I have been, literally I feel like I've been MIA. I'm sure you can hear it in my voice. I've been sick since Thursday night up until, I mean I'm still kind of sick but I'm not contagious anymore. I ended up going to my PCP and being tested for several things, was negative for flu and COVID, um, even did a chest x-ray to rule out pneumonia because my lungs were, they just were hurting even when I took a breath in um, and I was having some shortness of breath and things like that. So, you know, we rolled out pneumonia and ended up having just strep, which is crazy because one of the main symptoms that you have with strep is a sore throat, swollen lymph nodes, um, you know, hoarseness and things like that. I didn't really have any of that until two days ago. So it's crazy because I haven't had those particular symptoms. I've had other symptoms that weren't really, I knew it was like upper respiratory, but I didn't think it would be strep. I'm happy I'm feeling better. That's enough of a rant. I just wanted to kind of let you guys know where I've been because I've been so sick to where I haven't been crocheting. I'm feeling a lot better to where I'm actually sitting up since Thursday and today is Thursday when I'm filming this. It's um, November 30th. I have literally just been in bed slowly withering. I mean, it has been terrible. I haven't eaten much. Yesterday was the first day that I've eaten. I'm happy to be able to film today. Um, I'm still not at 100%. I'm sure you can hear it in my voice. I'm still pretty weak, having like generalized weakness and stuff. And my, my lungs, believe it or not, they still hurt when I take deep, deep breaths. So, but I feel a lot better than what I did and I'm not going to push myself. So, there most likely will only be one video this week. I'm sorry, you guys. I cannot see myself doing two videos this week. Um, hopefully, I feel a lot better next week. Just taking, you know, taking time to get myself back to 100%. Let's go ahead and get into this video. It is an exciting one. Let me show you guys what I have here, and then we can kind of start talking about the items. But this is like all the stuff that I'm going to be talking about today so and a little bit more because not everything fit in that um, box but I do want to let you guys know that there are several I didn't want to just mention one place one specific place just in case you don't like to shop on online like Amazon or you don't like Hobby Lobby or um, you don't have a Hobby Lobby near you or um, if Etsy's your place to go. So I do have kind of across the board things of like option A, B, and C. Um, if not, I will let you know. And then the links will be down in the description box below. So definitely check them out if you like any of these items and you want to purchase for your loved ones as a stocking stuffer. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing that I want to talk about, let me find this little product in this, is this little tin can. So this tin can I did originally buy from Hobby Lobby. It's so cute. It has a little yarn. I'm sure it's for knitting, but I mean, it has all the little notions and things. And then it has like a gingham plaid look in the back. And then inside, I keep a lot of my notions for crochet. I bought at Hobby Lobby. It's around five to eight dollars, but I feel like something like this in your crocheter's life would really be beneficial just to keep things together and organized. I love little things like this. You will notice that I'm a sucker for 
bags. <laughs> I'm just a sucker for bags. Um, and like things that you can put in compartments so you won't lose them. That is me. So the tin can, um, like I said, I got from Hobby Lobby. It's around five to eight bucks, just depending on 30% off coupon and things like that. So I do have this little guy. The option that I'm doing for Amazon are these little pouches that I actually bought. They are very, very cute. These pouches are, like I said, they're from Amazon. They normally come in like an assortment of five pieces and they're approximately about $6.98 for all five of them. I did buy two of them, so I have a total of 10 of them. I only found these five. They do have an assortment of different types of patterns on them. So these are just a couple that I wanted to show you. I did give some to my mom because she loved them so much. So I don't have all of them. I had just a little pouch. Usually you just put your little two fingers there. And then you can say you want to stick your pin in there and it won't fall out. I can put my stitch markers, my safety eyes. These are very, very cute. I really do like these. The next thing that I wanna talk about is, um, if you've seen my Amazon favorites, I talked about this little pencil pouch. This little pencil pouch is able to be made smaller with this little guy. It's more compressed. And then this one actually has a little pouch right here to put your stuff you can put your hooks here which you know your pencils are supposed to go there but I put my hooks there and then in here you have all this space right here to put like extra hooks to put um, just anything that you want and I really do love this to where I had to show you guys that I actually have two of them Um, the second one I'll show you what's in there it's on my list so not the bag again but the stuff in there um but yeah i wanted to show you this that this is another option like i said it's from amazon it's a pencil pouch the price is 9.99 i don't think that's too bad for somewhere where you want to keep all your crafting supplies especially when you go on a trip and things like that i think it's really handy you can put the hook that you're using in here a pen a notepad uh, you know things like that so i really do like this the other option that I went ahead and added was the one that I got from Hobby Lobby too. This cute plastic pencil pouch. I think that's a pencil box. It's it says needle art. It was $349 from Hobby Lobby, as you can see. It does have two compartments. One compartment is smaller, so I put stitch markers in there. The second compartment is a little bit bigger and I keep my crochet hooks in there. It's very cute. I really like it. This also comes in so many colors. So just FYI. The next thing that I want to talk about are stitch markers. How can you crochet without stitch markers? You could use yarn if you really wanted to be like budget friendly. I don't like using that method. I know a lot of people do, but I don't. Um, I love dainty things and cute things so I do have a couple of stitch markers to show you guys these stitch markers are from Hobby Lobby they um, come in different colors these have like the little squigglies which is makes it a lot easier for it to like slide out of the project whenever you're like fast crocheting you know they're very bendable these are my favorite stitch markers I do like the cute dainty ones like I'm about to show you these aren't as cute as the other ones but they will do the job and this will not steer you wrong I'm telling you I love these so the other ones that I'm going to talk about are Amazon ones and Etsy ones so we'll start with the Etsy ones so these stitch markers are from Gentle Island Knits um, and they are these little cuties I want to say I bought them about four months ago or so, um, but these are so cute. They have a little porcupine, a mushroom, a squirrel, a little owl, and a fox. I kept the packaging because, I mean, how adorable is this, right? But I have been using the little, and I put 
the ones that I've been using back because I wanted to show you guys exactly what they look like when they come to you. But I've been using the little porcupine or hedgehog, but I've been using the hedgehog and the little mushroom the most. I think they are so adorable. They're well made. They're handmade, of course. So I think these are very, very cute. This little guy for a total of five was $18 and then for shipping it was totaled to be $21.74. I looked back on my um, Etsy. Um, they are currently sold out because while I was looking at it I clicked on it and it said sold out. The Amazon ones I had gotten some little gummy bears because I think gummy bears are so cute and these are a total of 12 pieces and they are $7.99. They have so many assortments. They have mushrooms, frogs. I do like the clasps on both of them. They both have like similar clasps. But yeah, that's how you open it and then you just kind of close it like that. The next thing that I want to talk about are stuff that I would think... I mean, every crocheter needs, but I feel like it's definitely a stocking stuffer that I would like to get. I'm not saying everybody's going to be like jumping of joy if they get this, but it is an option. I'm t like, I'm telling you, if I were to receive some pretty scissors, I would be ecstatic. I'd be, I'd be happy. I'd be over the moon. I love scissors because you need some good cutting scissors to do a project if you get those dull whatever they are the little it doesn't do anything for me but when i see an aesthetic scissor love it i hopefully you guys feel the same if not i'm just on the on the boat by myself but i do want to talk about these i will talk about the amazon ones first so we do have these two green and purple amazon scissors they came in a two-piece set for $7.99. Don't mind the stitch markers. I put them on there just so I don't lose them, especially whenever I'm traveling. That's just an easy way for me to find them. These are so cute. They're nice and small. I really do like these. There's not much to say, but they are scissors, and I do like them. The next two that I want to talk about are from Amazon as well. They're these little pastel-colored ones. They came in a two-piece for $11.99. The Hobby Lobby scissors. Um, they're between like $4.99 and $5.99, but they have some really cute ones. They had these little um, like hummingbird ones. I look like a little bird when you open them um they are extremely sharp and they don't come with like a closure the other ones on amazon do these don't and they're extremely sharp so just throwing that information out there for you guys and then i have these like little i don't know um ombre looking ones the next thing the other alternative instead of just plain old scissors let me get that out of this little pouch is a pendant cutter so this one specifically is from Clover. I did buy it off of Amazon. This Amazon one was about seven bucks, I believe. Let me see. Yeah, it says I paid six seventy seven and then plus tax. So you know this does have like as you can see, you just put the yarn through one of those creases and it'll cut the yarn for you. So I really do like this, especially if you're a klutz like me. Like you just kind of put the yarn through in it cuts it automatically for you that is the next option if you wanted to do something like scissors or pendants those are cute stocking stuffers these are like things that crocheters need to crochet you know so it's very practical so I really like it the next thing that I want to talk about um something newer to my collection but I have very much enjoyed them so I think if you're not on this bandwagon or don't know what they are especially if you make amigurumi you definitely should get on it too come on join us which are sewing sticks and what those are I think I showed you in my last video is just a pair of like knitting needles with like a cute little adorable on it I have the old man from up and it's just knitting needles it has these little things on there so you won't poke yourself see I like safety so I keep these little guys and then once you're ready to use them you 
take off the black little thing and stick it in your project so the head won't like toss around and move around while you're trying to sew it onto the body they're very helpful um these i did receive from etsy they're from string into things inc they were 21.65 they are just metal knitting needles which you can buy on amazon if you don't want the cute things on them the other thing that you can use are wooden knitting needles and these come in 36 pieces for nine dollars and 25 cents so it's up to you if you want like the cute aesthetic the other option if you didn't want wooden if you didn't want the metal ones from etsy and stuff like that i also have these very cute these cute kind of like resin and it looks like they're in water i will say that they are extremely long <laughs> I mean this is the size compared to these so they are extremely long but sometimes it's a good thing especially if you're working on a bigger project you need longer in sewing needles I think I got 10 of them for like five bucks or something they are pretty inexpensive I have a whole ton of them right here I'm a sucker for packaging it's still in the package I'm sorry I still have the package for this pink one too so they don't get scratched up so I just wanted to talk about them because they have really helped me sew on my amigurumis very well um, my game has changed and we all know it can be a flop if you sew on the head just even the slightest bit of cricket I just want to throw the whole thing in the trash these have definitely helped I don't know if you guys noticed my shirt but it says herbology right I'm a very very huge Harry Potter head I guess you can say um, I freaking watch those movies at least twice a year they are very good and you cannot tell me they're not I freaking love Harry Potter anyways what I'm getting to at is the one thing that you need that needs to be the best thing that you can hold that you can crochet with that will make your life easier that will make using yarn a little less difficult uh, making your your creativity flow and not feel like you want to strangle somebody is guess what having a good hook having a good crochet hook so I have you guys have seen my collection of crochet hooks. I have a ton of crochet hooks. I have tried a ton of crochet hooks. There are some that are top, top tier, and I will recommend and recommend again to you guys. So let's go ahead and get those out of the way, and then I'll talk about the ones that are just a little, you know, just a little bit less than that. So, but I still like these hooks. Don't, don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. So the first set of like crochet hooks that I will recommend time and time again that you guys definitely, I'm sure if you are a crocheter, you know about these. Um, and they are the clover hooks. You cannot go wrong with clover hooks. That's all I have to say about that. The bigger that the crochet hooks get, they turn into plastic instead of metal. My favorite crochet hooks, the two main crochet hooks that I use and I have multiples of, I have multiple of them. Like, I will go to Joann's and just buy one just because I'm scared that I've seen people's hooks snap out and then they don't have a secondary crochet hook with that same size. I'm too scared of that. So I have like five of the three mil crochet hooks because I don't want that to happen to me. I have several of the five mil crochet hook as well. So those two are the main two that I use, the three and the five. The three I use for the um, four weight yarn, the acrylic yarn, and then the five I use for what's behind me which is the like premier parfait chunky the hobby lobby i think it's called adorable yarn i use it on that definitely clover more hooks guys you can get these on amazon if you'd like sometimes they have great deals going on they are top tier they're amazing and these will always be my number one the next ones that i will say are like in that same little category that i really do like are these i don't have a whole set though because they are expensive they're like 100 bucks it is the tulip crochet hook i will say they're not in the prettiest flattering most flattering color i don't know if everybody likes red i don't really like red i like the colorful of the clover hooks but these are actually pretty good I only have the three and the five like I said I always need a three and a five those are pretty top-notch as well these right here are I've talked I think I've talked about them in the past but while we talk about these we're gonna talk about these too because I recently got these maybe like three weeks ago 
or so and I've used them. These are the O Fire crochet hooks. They're from a smaller business. They have beautiful crochet hooks, guys. Like they are freaking amazing. Like they they look so beautiful. They're aesthetically pleasing. Look at that. You have to get used to the weight distribution because they're very top heavy. So when you're crocheting and I'm used to like having the same amount of weight on my crochet hook, it's so hard for me to get used to a top heavy crochet hook because it makes me work harder and then it makes my arm get sore faster. Not a bad crochet hook though. I love the hook on it. I love the aestheticness of these crochet hooks. You can definitely get used to them. Um, I haven't given them that chance to get used to using them only because I am ride or die clover. <laughs> It's up to you guys, but I really do love them, and I love, like, the aestheticness of them. I, I have them right here on my by my desk because I love the way they look. And if it's a smaller project, I, ha I think I used it on a beanie, and it was fine, you know? But I'm not... I, I wouldn't use it... I wouldn't use it for an amigurumi project just because they're they're just top heavy for me the next ones that I want to talk about is from a small business and they're Pedro's plaques these oh my gosh they are beautiful these are just beautiful and of course I had to get a three mil and a five mil but these are literally handmade these are handcrafted with clay they are so nice I freaking love them. I love the aesthetic of them. The only sad part is that they're so top heavy. It's so hard for me to like get a rhythm going, you know, with my, and I'm a pencil holder. So it's so hard for me to do this, especially when the jellyfish wants to fly, you know, you can definitely try them out for yourself. You may have stronger arms than me. My arms may be weak weak as heck it may be easier for you guys to use them those are the crochet hooks that i wanted to talk about so the next item i was very much influenced into buying this i'm not going to lie i saw them on cameron's cute creation i immediately bought what she was talking about because i'm like i've been having some pain some wrist pain some arm pain my little hands need some rest they need some help so i bought the compression gloves right here they're just like these holy little contraptions here i did get the medium which they do fit tight on the fingers which is weird when you're crocheting because you just feel like you can't really bend your fingers you can you definitely can it just takes a little bit getting used to there is no support on the wrist i do like these i have worn them for about maybe one to two hours and it did help with my like my finger pain sometimes i feel like my fingers get locked after crocheting too much like i'm double jointed so i feel like they just get locked so it did help a little bit with that i got these off of amazon i paid 9.99 for these compression gloves i will continue to use them the other gloves that i am going to say that you guys need to go and like definitely buy let me show you it's these gloves guys Again, with the packaging, I, yes, I got them. It's the hot and cold wrist sleeve, like, ice pack glove. And it looks like this. I did buy the pink ones. I'm not really a pink girly, but I didn't want to buy the black ones because I feel like I would lose them so easily. And let me just tell you guys, I bought two. <laughs> Like I said, I keep them in the packaging just so I won't lose them, but I bought two of them. But let me just tell you guys, I forgot I was even wearing these because they literally stabilize your wrist is the one thing because they are compressed. I got the small slash medium and they fit great on me. I have smaller hands and they are like these cooling gel gloves so you can definitely put them in the freezer and they get real real cold or you can pop them in like the microwave for a couple seconds at a time and they get warm i have been using them just like putting them in the bag and bringing them out and wearing them like that and since it's pretty cold in texas these are pretty cooling and i'm telling you they have made such a difference to my crocheting like my wrist does not hurt when i'm completing like when i'm done crocheting um i can crochet with them on they feel so good and i feel like if i were to do like 
crochet with me's or anything like that, you'd probably see me wearing these because these are so good. Now they do nothing for my my fingers here, but they do everything for my wrist. Like the compression on them, I'm pretty sure the crochet in your life would thank you for these. I'm telling you, I was all like, no way, they can't be that good. Oh my gosh, they are. I wholeheartedly believe that they have made a difference in my hands. I didn't even tell you how much I paid for them. It's $11.95 for one. So the next thing that I want to talk about are exclusively for people who make amigurumi projects. So if your loved one is a crocheter but doesn't make amigurumi projects, but if they do or if they want to dabble into amigurumi and making crochet plushies, um, I definitely recommend getting one of these two or both of them for them these can end up being pretty pricey so it's just something to think about and that they would probably enjoy what i'm talking about are safety eyes so with safety eyes a lot of them are inexpensive like just like the plain black safety eyes those are pretty inexpensive but i am talking about these little colorful rainbow safety eyes i've had so many people ask me where did i get these and Amazon my friend Amazon so they come in 20 pieces but I'm pretty sure it's only five pairs of safety eyes I want to say I pay $22.95 for the 20 piece set um, and I have them here but the reason I'm saying I don't know if it's 10 or 5 is because I'm pretty sure I bought multiples of them and I'm not sure how many I bought of this specific 20 millimeter eyes. They have several different ones like I said link in the description for you guys. They just add an extra oomph to your little crochet friends. I mean they are literally the cutest things ever. I really do like that dimensional look to it, especially the colorful eyes ones. The next option that you can go with or the next thing that you can buy is felt eyes. A lot of people don't like felt eyes. I like felt eyes. Not on every single one of my plushies, but I do like me some felt eyes and I have several of them. That's why I have this other little thing because it holds all of my felt eyes. So I did buy all of these. There's so many. There's just so many. We have these. These, I gotta say, are some of my favorite. Those, I got them off of Amazon, and they're between $17 and $22 a pack. It just gives you more, like an array of options when making your plushies, and who doesn't need more safety eyes? I definitely do especially if they're pretty and like colorful um, and they're a little bit on the pricier side so even me I was very hesitant on buying a couple of packs because I'm like oh my god that's $22 and I've already spent hundreds of dollars on yarn so you know that really does make my little crochet heart happy we're getting down to the last couple things that I wanted to talk about the next thing that I want to talk about are colored darning needles these are from Amazon and they are $6.99 with this little tube and they come with several different colored darning needles and these are really really amazing for weaving in all your ends and things like that and I really do like the colored ones and the metal ones because they're easy it, like if I were to drop it they're so easy for me to point it out if it has fallen on the floor or if I've lost it in my couch or anything like that it's easy for me to find and then it comes with this cute little tube that I can put them in I did get them from Amazon and they were $6.99 oh my gosh guys the next thing that is on my list I don't think you guys are ready for it look at this it says crochet it's a little crochet bag with yarn inside so this is a little crochet ornament I think the crochet in your life would love this I got this as a birthday gift from one of my really 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 close work friends and she is awesome for giving this to me because I opened it up and she's like you know it's not much and I'm like no you're fine like I love little things and this was in there with a Joanne's gift card of course too but like this girl I was all like thanks for the Joanne's gift card but this like are you serious are you serious it sits like over here now she says she got it from michael's i didn't look up the price but this is so cute definitely an adorable little stocking stuffer so the next 
that next year they can hang up on their little Christmas tree. I think that is so cute. It's not something that most people think about, but I will say I was very, very happy when I got this for my birthday. So thank you so much, Ashlyn, for that. The next thing that I wanna talk about is this little safety eye insertion tool. And it looks like that. It is on Amazon and it is about eight bucks, $7.99. It's a really good tool, kind of lighten the load on those fingers and hands whenever inserting the safety eyes to your plushie. So I thought I'd include it. I know it's not much, but I think it is definitely worth it. So the last thing that I will talk about, I recently got, I would say about a month ago, and I would definitely recommend, especially if you read your patterns from your phone. I read my patterns from my phone. We are going to talk about this phone stand. This phone stand is pretty amazing. So it does go up and down. It also can move up and down it's very good and then you can swirl it all around this was $12.99 guys the other thing that I want to add that's a plus is I keep my little my little notions right on here it has that cute little divot to where it keeps things from rolling off of your desks if you put them in here and you can't lose them it's so sleek and so smooth i got the white one and it's really nice they even have an ipad stand so that's gonna be it that's that's everything that i wanted to talk about that you could put in your significant other and your loved ones um stocking for crocheters thank you guys for bearing with me i really do appreciate it make sure you subscribe if you haven't already and watch some of my other videos if you have a chance let me know if any of these are going to be in someone's stocking for this christmas um, i would love to hear from you guys and i will see you guys in my next one bye guys